Okay, so uh, welcome to this spare of the moment video. It's going to be very shaky because it's on my uh, phone. The reason I'm making it is, um, and the reason you probably clicked on it, is you're probably researching 5G options and you are you might not be sure about it and you're struggling to find good content on the internet. Uh, I struggled quite a bit, particularly uh, finding information for people based in the UK. So hopefully this short video will uh, you know, outline the steps that I took, the what I spent money on, what I, what I researched, what I found, and it might help you or it might not. But it really is for beginners and novices like me. So to give you context, the house that I'm in has got a very limited uh, internet connection. Uh, the previous peop uh, owners, I think, had, uh, had a BT connection. When I contacted uh, the providers, uh, BT OpenReach, the fastest I could get in this house on any of the networks, was about 35 to 40 megabytes a second. And they could guarantee 27 megabytes a second, which, to be honest, frankly, wasn't enough for my needs, especially for, you know, uh, endless video calling for work, etc. So I did a bit of research and I wondered that and I saw that 5G Internet is, uh, you know, a great solution, great option. But there were so many uh, options to run it. So what did I do first? Uh, 5G.co.uk. Here there's a coverage checker. Uh, and what you can do is you can type your postcode in and then it will tell you which of the uh, internet providers actually cover your area. You can go to the individual websites, put your postcode in there, and then it will tell you whether you have a good indoor connection, um, a good indoor and outdoor connection, or whether you, you know there's no service in that area. You really want to check that first before you invest in any uh, expensive equipment for 5G. If you're in a 4G area and the 4G, 4G uh, internet you have is... Uh, is adequate. There's plenty of videos on the internet on 4G routers, um, SIM cards and the rest of it and the like. So I checked um, the the only companies that had a stable connection in this uh, city of Manchester that I'm in was EE3 and Vodafone. But the postcode I was in, only Vodafone had a good connection. None of the other providers actually could even reach where I am. From where I am, there are two 5G masts within about three miles uh, in each direction. So I get a good 5G connection. So that was the first decision. I needed something to do with Vodafone. So then it was a case of finding a good option for the internet. Now, Vodafone actually have their own um, broadband package where you pay on a, a monthly basis and they give you a SIM card. And I'll talk about this in a second. They'll send you one of these. In fact, they won't send you this one. They'll send you the uh, previous version. And that costs a lot of money. It's £350 for the... For the for the box and then you're you're tied into a contract. What I did instead was I checked Voxy. Now Voxy is Vodafone's, I guess, hip and younger sibling. Uh, runs the Vodafone network. Everything's exactly the same. And they happen to have a Black Friday sale on. You can guess what the day is. Um, and the Black Friday sale that they have is endless data, so unlimited data, tethering allowed, five G ready. Um, Unlimited calls and texts doesn't matter for the time being, but it can do if we talk about it later. And then also it's on £30 a month with no contract. For me, this was the best option. I can cancel it whenever I want. If I'm not using endless data, I could use, you know, drop down to the 60 gigabyte option if I think that I'm going to use that much. Um, SIM card came in about a day. Uh, setting it up was simple, easy. And to be honest with you, that was the first thing that I did. So now I, uh, I know that I've got a SIM card that has a 5G connection in the area. So then... Research on the actual router. Now, there are three options that are available for 5G. So the three options that are available, uh, if you want to get a good 5G connection, uh, to begin with, you've got the first uh, batch, which is the Huawei 5G CPE Pro. And this is the, the first one that was kind of rolled out and all of the major networks, if you were to buy through them, I think Vodafone call it the Gigacube and 3 calls it something similar. It's the exact same thing. Um, and then the second option really is the Huawei 5G CPE Pro 2. Uh, and this is the latest one. It's literally come out late 2020. Um, if I scroll over to the specifications, the main differences between the Pro and the Pro 2 is going to be there's two main differences that I found when I researched it. The first one was that the Pro, which is the first version, has external antenna support. So it has two 5G external antenna supports. They're called TS9. You can Google them. You can research them. If you're in an area which is underground, if you're in an area which has poor uh, connection, you can do research on an external antenna. The research that I did was that it's hit and miss. It depends on what area you're in. However, but if, if you're in quite high-rise areas, big cities, and you're underground, you're probably going to need one. The original, the Pro, has two models. You've got the H112372, 
and you've got the H112370. Now, the model which um, is supplied when you go through the network operators is 370. The model that you'll probably find on Amazon, eBay, etc. is 372. The big difference between these two uh, is that one of them is uh, kind of focused on the, the UK, um, um, I think it's called bandwidth, but it's called N78. Um, and the other one, 372, is a lot better if you're traveling. However, they do pretty much the same thing. The newest version is called the uh, the Pro 2, and the main difference is, number one, it's smaller. Number two, it has no external antenna support, so you can't get an external antenna with the new one, hence it's cheaper. However, it has something called Wi-Fi 6. Now, Wi-Fi 6 um, is something which is exclusive to the Pro 2, and it basically means that you can get Wi-Fi up to, I mean, that is ridiculous, 2,000, nearly 3 uh, giga gigabytes uh, speed, which is a lot higher than the previous one. So if you want to buy a 5G router, which is going to be basically future proof, because as the speeds increase, uh, no doubt, so will the, you know, the hardware needs to keep up. So this hardware is set up for, for faster speeds. Then you want to get hold of this one. I decided to go for the CPE Pro 2. I took a gamble uh, because my area has very good 5G connection from the coverage checker that I told you about on Vodafone's website. Uh, however, if I had poor connection and I needed an ant external antenna, I would have just bought the other one tried it out and then returned it if I needed to. Where can you buy it from? I just went on Amazon. There was a company that uh, sold it on there. They had good reviews for uh, customer service, returns, and they actually uh, answer the questions that people have. So what happened? Uh, I ordered this, got it in the post, um, and literally you plugged it in, uh, the Wi-Fi came on, and literally uh, I connected to it through the Wi-Fi. It has a 5G, a 5 gigahertz option and a two and a half gigahertz option. So once I clicked on it, it took me through to the, to the Huawei um, uh, IP address and I'll show you here it's 192.168.8.1 you just click on that um, this uh, barcode will give you uh, access to the app on your phone but you can also log in through your uh, computer so I'm just going to do that so once I've logged in you get a network uh, kind of um, setup like this all I did was I connected to the Wi-Fi it made me create a password and then just like that I was in it was as simple as that. It took about five minutes. There was no difficulty involved in it. Now, how do you know whether you've got a good connection or not? There's two options. One is when you log in on the back end, there's something called optimized location. When you click on it, it allows you to start testing the um, location that you're in. And it will test it for 4G and 5G and give it a rating out of 100. As you can see from where I'm based, I've got 100 out of 100. So um, it basically says I've got a very good internet connection. Second thing you can do is you can do a speed test. So I'm going to finish on that speed test because this video is already getting too long. So here's the speed test. I'm using uh, Ookla, I think it's called, speedtest.net. So bear in mind, this is the speed that I'm getting on Wi-Fi. I actually got a faster connection on Wi-Fi than I did on the, on the Ethernet cable. I don't know why that was the case. Maybe it's something to do with the Wi-Fi 6, although technically the, the Ethernet cable should be faster. But anyway, I got 262 as a download speed. Um, in terms of costings, uh, when I bought this on Amazon, it was 379. Um, the actual um, older version, the one that has external antenna support, was 400. So it was actually cheaper for that reason, but it's actually a better product. Uh, and that, that is. Uh, so that's it, really. That was my short kind of uh, update or walk through on how I got 5G internet when the broadband companies were trying to rip me off and tie me down to contracts. Um, so that's it. End of the video. Thanks for your time. Tara.